Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. Today I'm here with Brian Byrne. Brian, tell us about how you started your career at Cisco. So I've been with Cisco for eight years. I came in as an account SE, focusing primarily on healthcare accounts in, in the state of Ohio. And then after that, I moved on to an overlay role with the technical solutions architect role roughly about four years ago. How do you recommend people get started with network programmability? So just because I'm talking to people from DevNet right now, I'm not going to say I learned it from DevNet, but that was the reality. I actually went out to developer.cisco.com and I grabbed the model-driven programmability labs and that's where I started. And that's, again, as, as that traditional network engineer and the way that we kind of build up foundationally. I figured the best, or the, the first place to start wasn't maybe with an API that called an application, but truly understand how I can do something I'm very familiar with, like build a router configuration or build a switch configuration using something like NetConf and Yang. So, how are you giving back? Sure. So one of the reasons that I blog on, on blogs.cisco.com where I'm spending time creating content or speaking at these events around the globe is that I've gotten to the point in my career where I've realized that I didn't get to where I am without the help of other people. And I feel that I'm now in a position where I can actually return that same help to other people. As I'm learning things, I feel it's almost my obligation to help other people come along the same path that I have. And blogs and, and Cisco Live and the DevNet are a great opportunity for me to get out and actually share the things that I've learned with other people. Thank you, Brian. Everyone, make sure you're a DevNet member and get access to all the resources on developer.cisco.com.